It's been a very quiet week on this UK campus with most of the cats are on the road, but the biggest matchup of this week was in South Carolina and would the football Wildcats shine in the national spotlight or would they fall to Steve Spurrier's curse? And how will the Cats do against LSU this Saturday? We'll have your Xbox preview that you will like. And how are those other teams doing on the roads? Get your dinner utensils ready because Sports Zone 50 starts right now. Welcome in everybody to Sports Zone 50, your only student sports authority. Ryan Molenkoff alongside with Justin Stewart. And what a quiet week it has been on this campus with most of the sports teams hitting the road. So we decided, hey, if everyone else took a vacation, why not us? So we took the six hour drive down to Gamecock Country to see the number eight UK team take on a very tough and well coached number 11 South Carolina team. Pick this game up in the first quarter. Andre Wilson steps back, but he gets in trouble. He gets sacked. Ball pops loose. Eric Nor recovers the fumble. In for the touchdown, 7 0 South Carolina. But Andre Woodson's not going to go down that easy. He throws a beautiful rainbow pass here to Jacob Tammy in the corner. Look at that. Jacob, Tam Jacob Tammy with a great catch. This play was reviewed but stood as a touchdown. And if you remember on our Xbox 360 preview last week, Captain Munnery picked off Andre Woodson. Whoop, yeah, came true. There he did. He picked him off. He's not going to run this one back for a touchdown, though, but that's trouble for Kentucky. And then you're going to see er you're going to see Mike Davis make the three-yard run in for South Carolina. Makes it 17-10, and it was not looking good going into halftime, but... Well, who do you bring in? You bring in Billy Gillespie. That'll get the UK faithful going, and they love to see their head basketball coach. Then in the second half, Andre Woodson gets in trouble. Laterals to Connor. Connor can't handle it. And that Eric Norwood's going to pick this one up again, go 53 yards for the touchdown, and it puts South Carolina up 24-10, and that was pretty much it. You know, the difference in the game is our turnovers and the penalties. Uh, where we uh, dug ourselves uh, a few long yardage situations and uh, we got to give South Carolina credit their defense uh, you know forced us into some of those things but some of them uh, you know were just uncharacteristic of uh, how we've played we, we definitely made a lot of mistakes and uh, me personally um, and uh, it's something you know we haven't been doing all year and um, just hopefully right now you know we go and correct that um, you know, it's pretty disappointing because, you know, we, we definitely felt we could compete in this game and, and definitely come away with the win. We had a lot of opportunities this game to take care of business, and uh, we created, we, uh, we gave the ball away a few times. We didn't make stops on defense. We made errors on special teams. And the first five games of the season, we were able to get by without making as many mistakes. And tonight we made mistakes in a great team, South Carolina. They capitalized on it, and we lost on the road. And after the loss, Kentucky fell nine spots all the way back to 17 in the AP, and they fell 19 in the coaches' poll. It was a tough loss for everybody all around the bluegrass country, but it was most difficult of all on Andre Woodson, who had three turnovers all by himself in the contest. And now Kentucky gets the second leg of the Triple Crown as they take on a unanimous number one LSU team after USC lost a heartbreaker to Stanford 24-23. What a major upset that was. And Saturday night, LSU showed just how impressive they are as they stormed back to defeat Florida in the final minutes 28-24. Ryan, what do you think it will take for Kentucky to beat this dominant LSU in their fiery defense? Well, I, I'm going to have to say this went, you know, they, they coming off this win against Florida, I think they're a very emotional drain. I think this is a team that it took all they had. They went forward on fourth down, not once, not twice, not three times, but four times on that last drive. And I just think that's too much emotionally for a team. And plus, we have, UK has had eight days to prepare. So that Thursday night game, you know, that was rough. But whenever you get those extra days to prepare for a team, I think that's really going to help you. Absolutely. And for a passing team, obviously I don't want to make excuses, but the rain did kill us. I saw as soon as I knew it was raining uh, in South Carolina, I said, oh, man, we're going to have a tough time on our hands. And we have a good running team. But for Andre to sign, for our receivers to get their hands on the ball and run good crisp routes, 
it's going to take a little bit of dry soil. So, uh, you know, the weather's going to be nice. It's going to be an afternoon game. Uh, Andre Woodson has a chance to once again redeem himself in the national spotlight. Uh, I think he's a pretty intelligent guy. He realizes that he didn't do as good as he could on the national stage, and uh, he's going to get a second chance. So I'm really looking forward to see how these cats put it together. And like you said, they had nine days to prepare for this LSU team. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, last week, uh, sorry to say, the Xbox 360 preview came true. South Carolina, <laughs> South Carolina <clears throat> actually beat UK. And you should have replayed that game, Ryan. You should have pressed the power button off and re-simulated it. Hey, Anyways, continue. Xbox 360 does not lie. Well, as promised, let's get to the Xbox 360 matchup this week of the Cats and the Tigers, and you'll like this one, Justin. First quarter, number 22, Jeremy Bunting receives a handoff up the middle, breaks every single tackle. For six points after the field goal, brings the score 7 to 0. Second quarter, Andre Woodson throws a post corner out to Keenan Burton. Bam, did you think he was going to drop it or something? Takes it all the way into the end zone, flips it in, brings your score tied up 7 to 7. Fourth quarter, UK's up 35 13. Matt Flynn throws a pick to number 25, Ahmad Grisby, who pretty much closes the game out. But Kentucky, being who they are, has to rub it in their face a little bit. This is the number one team, after all. Andre Woodson throws a touchdown. Dickie Lyons Jr. takes it in the end zone. Brings the score. Your final, 42-13. This simulation is a little better than last one, right? Switching to men's soccer with sophomore Kentucky defender Barry Rice's goal in the 82nd minute Saturday. They lifted Kentucky to a 1-0 win against UAB in the Conference USA Open for the Wildcats. It was Rice's third goal of the season, which tied him for the team goal lead with forwards Tim Crone and Aaron Swanson. And they helped their Wildcats to win their second consecutive victory. The men are home on Wednesday, October 10th at 6 o'clock p.m. at the Soccer Complex. And the women's team was on the road against Florida this past week. And Florida got on the board first, taking a 1-0 lead in the 23rd minute. And Stacey Bishop got a header into the goal for the lone goal of the match. And the women are back at home this Friday night at 7 at the Soccer Complex. And the women's volleyball team is home Friday night, 7 o'clock p.m. at Moral Coliseum. Make sure you go and check them out. Just to give everyone something to do this weekend, uh, Besides watching our show over and over, as always, on Channel 50. And on YouTube. Uh, I like to call this week the Triple Crown Week. I mean, Friday we have uh, Keelan, and uh, Friday night we have uh, Big Blue Madness. If you haven't been to Big Blue Madness and you're missing a great treat, you need to get out there and go support the basketball team, which you should be doing already. And uh, obviously, what's going on Saturday? We're playing some team. Uh, oh, yeah, LSU, number one in the nation, 3.30 on CBS. So uh, come out and support your cats. And uh, Friday, if you're not familiar, it is uh, college. Scholarship day, ten thousand dollars worth of scholarships they're giving away. So, you know, if you don't, if you want a little extra money in your pocket, definitely something you should do. But Absolutely. as always, Ryan Molenkoff. and I'm Justin Stewart. And uh, as always, use a designated driver, go to class, and always be blue. Bleed it, baby. Bleed, bleed. Blue, blue. blue.